Hello and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. In this video I'm going to be infilling the my Blue Sky Pink Gum Gel that I did over two weeks ago. I do have a full application video and also a removal video already in my Blue Sky playlist. There is also a list of products that I have used in the description box below along where you can also purchase the Blue Sky Gum Gel from. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification on. And please also like this video. These really help out my channel. Thank you. So this now has been on 16 days as of when I filmed this video. You can also see pictures of my day seven wear of the pink um, gel. There is a small growth line there and quite a bit of cuticle on the nail bed. I've personally found that the pink seems to grow out slower for me than the clear and I've also already taken down the length of my nail just by using a hand file. I've got two very tiny areas that have lifted which for me is very normal but overall I'm really happy with how this has worked for me. It's a really easy product to use. So I'm going to go through how I infill. Now please remember that this is my way of working. You might not agree with how I do things, but this is how I've worked for years. The tools I'm using are my two cuticle tools, which have to be my favorite just because of the color. The 100, 180 grit file, which I'll be using to debulk. My isopropyl alcohol, my Nail Nails Dehydrator and Primer, my Blue Sky Base Coat, the Gel Stirrer which I use for getting the gum gel out, my Size 8 Acrylic Brush and the Blue Sky Pink Gum Gel. The blue brush you can see as well, I'll also be using that as a clean up brush. To begin with, I like to clean the nail with isopropyl alcohol as I like my nail to be clean before I start. But it also makes my skin wet, so when the cuticle skin, it's much easier to sort of push it back. I'm then going to come in with my cuticle tool and very, very gently push that skin back. I'm not being rough. This will make that growth line a tiny little bit bigger. I'm then going to turn the cuticle tool to the other end and go over the natural nail area and very very gently pushing that cuticle skin off of the nail bed. I like to be thorough without being harsh. Skin that's left on the nail bed will cause lifting and we definitely don't want that. So all these little white bits you can see that are coming off, that's the cuticle. If there's any stubborn parts, I will use my other cuticle tool and just go over it with that. Whilst I'm working, I like to keep the nail area clean so that I can see what I'm doing and I just use my dusting brush for this. I'm then going to come in and do all of my filing. Now this tiny area here is lifted, so I'm going to remove that and also there's one over here. I'll just go over all of the gum gel. Now, I will not be using this file on the natural nail. I will actually use a different file for that part. But I'm just getting rid of any of the bulk that I don't want there. And I like to make sure that the entire nail has been filed. This will give the base coat something to adhere to. Once I'm happy with that, I'll then move to a different file. Now these are both a 100, 180 grit file but the first one is a much coarser file than the second one, which is a much softer one. And this is what I'll use on the natural nail. Now, I won't use anything lower than a 180 on the natural nail. Anything lower is too harsh. So I'm just gonna blend the gum gel into the natural nail bed. The gum gel does blend really nicely. So how I deal with lifting, what I do is I file behind the lifted part. Once you've gone down a little way, it will either just flick off or it will just lift enough 
so you can sort of remove it really really easily with either a pair of tweezers or in my case the cuticle torn. I have actually filed on top of the lifting and I have run the lifting all the way down the nail and this is what you don't want to do. I've just found that this has been the most easiest way and I actually learned this from I believe her name is Liz's acrylic nails here on YouTube without that I'd have still been doing what I was originally doing which was chasing it down the nail make sure that you remove all of the lifting as I've said at the beginning I am a problem lifter mainly on my thumb and index fingers so please don't take that this is a bad product because it's not most of my nails had zero lifting which for me is amazing so now that I've finished filing I'll brush away the dust and clean the nail with isopropyl alcohol and I'm ready to start doing the infill so I've already applied two coats of the dehydrator and I've allowed them to dry fully I'm then going to come in with the Nail Nails Primer, again allowing the layer to dry. Now you don't want to oversaturate the nail with either the dehydrator or the primer and you want to avoid the skin at all cost. And I'll only apply this to the natural nail. I'm then going to get the Blue Sky Base Coat and I'll apply my first layer making sure that I go right up close to the cuticle area and side walls but making sure that there's a nice small tiny gap all the way around the nail. I'll also cap the free edge. You don't have to do this, I just like a smooth free edge and if any gets on my skin I'll just use my brush with the isopropyl alcohol and I'll clean away. Now you want to do this before your nail goes into the lamp and I'll cure this for 30 seconds. Once it comes out of the lamp, I'll then repeat for a second layer. You could also just stick with one layer and that would be just fine. I just like to use two coats. So now that that's cured, I'll start applying the gum gel. I have found that wetting the tool you're using with the gum gel with isopropyl alcohol really does help it release better on the nail. And I'll just take a medium sized bead of the gel. I can always add some more if need be. And I'll wet my brush with the isopropyl alcohol as well. And I'll begin to push, tap, pat and put it into place. I want my side walls and free edge and cuticle area nice and thin and then I want the centre of the nail to have a nice apex. As my nails are short it doesn't have to be a high apex. The key is the longer the nail the higher the apex. I'm also making sure that I have a nice what I call road line around the nail and it goes from one side wall all the way around the cuticle area and down the other side wall. Your brush needs to be wet but not sopping wet. Again, you can play around with the gum gel until you're really, really happy with your application before you cure. I have just purchased the Blue Sky Gum Gel Brush from Blue Sky World and I'm excited to try that when I redo my nails in a few weeks. I personally think you could easily go three, even four weeks with this pink gum gel. So once I finish with my application, I'll cure this in my lamp for 60 seconds. The curing times for the gum gel is UV is two minutes and 60 seconds for LED. And as my lamp is a UV and LED, I'll use the 60 seconds. So now that's cured, I'll take my wipe with isopropyl alcohol and give the nail a really good clean. I also make sure to do the free edge as well and it's now ready to file. I will be using the same two files I did earlier and I'll start with my side walls making sure they're nice and straight and then I'll also do the free edge as well. Now because I have limited filming space when filing the main body of the nail I don't usually file like this it's just that I'm got a very tight space and it's very strange filing on camera as it is but I'm just 
refining the whole nail. To be fair, there isn't a great deal of filing to do with the gum gel. Now, I have used an e-file on the gum gel and it works beautifully. That's how I normally file the main body of the nail and that's mainly because of my hands. The only thing I will say is because it files like butter, I just have to be aware that you can go a little too far with filing very, very quickly. I'll stop every once in a while, feel over the nail to make sure it's nice and even and also smooth. I'll also check from all angles to make sure that everything looks good. I'll then come in with my dusting brush to get rid of any of the dust. If I need to go back in with the file, I will. I'll then use my white buffer block and I'll buff all over the nail. And this is to remove the marks that the file has actually made. I will then come in with my 100-180 sponge buffer to make sure that the nail is super smooth. Now, if you are going in with gel polish or normal polish, miss this step out, otherwise your polishes will not stick. I do this step because I use a peel off base coat for my manis. It's better for me to have a super smooth nail, otherwise it doesn't peel off. So that's why I do this step. I'll then do one final clean with the isopropyl alcohol and it's finished. Like I've said, this is a really easy product to work with. So whether you're a home user or a nail tech like me, it's really easy. I actually have to say that I do prefer it to the Blue Sky Builder Gel that I had used for almost 18 months. And this is probably what I'm going to be using for a while. I've still got a few things that I need to play around with and sort of get my application really, really sorted out but it's a really nice product to work with. I do still have a couple of more videos I want to do using the Blue Sky Gum Gel, which I'm really looking forward to doing. They'll be coming in the next few weeks, but I really hope that you've found this video helpful. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below or direct message me over on my Instagram page. I'm always willing to help anybody out. Thank you for viewing my info on the Blue Sky Gum Gel. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please give me a thumbs up, comment below, hit that subscribe button and share. And also don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glitter Shine Nails. So until next time, happy stamping and bye.